Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited to be finally pruning this crazy growing herb. This is one of the must-haves I personally think to, you know, grow in the garden. It's not something that we eat with, although there are some people that eat this or make some tea out of it, but it's a little too strong for my taste. It is very aromatic, very, it's, it's very calming. It smells like menthol. It smells like uh, a lot of people say it's like smells like Vicks ointment or something. And um, yeah, this is the common name for this is Vicks plant or uh, menthol succulent. This is a very much like um, it's a succulent, but it's also a very hardy herb. The reason I love having in the garden is because it really helps with sensitive skin if you break out in like a rash itchiness on your skin. My mom loves to use it a lot because she has sensitive skin. She would break out on like her hands after working in the garden. She would, um, she'll break out in rashes like on, on her arms or sometimes she'd get really itchy, like the feet would be really itchy and um, or just from winter with really dry skin. And what she does is she would just take, you know, this leaf or t she'd take more than one leaf, but when you crush it and you make like a poultice with it, it's so juicy already in my hand. And so it helps to relieve the itch. And I use it in the summertime, especially this year we had such a wet winter that I know that's gonna be plenty of bugs. So this actually rep repels bugs, um, especially mosquitoes. Um, so that's kind of nice to have around the garden, especially around the area that you spend a lot of time in, just kind of hanging out. Um, uh, and uh, mosquito flea bites, mosquito bites, flea bites, I like to use it and I literally just take a leaf and I would like massage this juice onto that spot and then slowly that itch will kind of go away. It's, um, it's pretty cool, so that's what I love using it for. I even use this on lotus, my dog's um, skin, you know, like on any kind of light uh, skin irritations or there was like a small little like cut or opening even for myself or for her. I would um, use this juice and um, put like a, a cotton ball, like a absorber with a cotton ball and a rub it on that area to kind of do like a very minor kind of a disinfect because it does have uh, like antibacterial properties in it. Look at that. This stuff it's like about to drip just off of one leaf. They have these really pretty lavender bluish purple flowers. They flower about the cool um, when it's right when it starts to get a little warmer so like spring and fall they would put out these flowers and this stuff it's like succulent so they don't need a whole lot of water it's um pretty drought tolerant you can put you know water it moderately or just when, when it's almost completely dry then you can water it that works too just don't drench it guys because it is a succulent it's going to um root it's going to cause root rot so have well-drained soil and full sun or part sun works well this stuff grows pretty much anywhere it's not picky really uh, it's not picky about its environment it is you know cold sensitive if you guys live in somewhere that would freeze so you would just take in you know indoor and treat it as a house plant until it warms up um, and propagating this is quite easy you basically you just take a stem and you stick it in in the soil uh, that's it and then just give it a bit of time and you're gonna start to notice it growing so that's what's really cool about these and um, I, I love how they kind of drape over and and it just creates this really nice cascading um, mound here or you can treat it as like a house plant in by a window or something and uh, yeah if you keep picking it you know keep pruning it back you're gonna get a lot of very full round bush like like a really beautiful lush tight mound so the thing I'm doing today is I'm going to cut this back so I can make more room to grow stuff 
Um, it's getting out of hand. I'm going to cut this back and feed it through, chop it up and feed it through a juicer because I am going to extract and save this juice. And it can refrigerate pretty well. Like it lasts at least like a year in there. Really good if you keep it in a, a, a nice sealed glass jar. Um, just keep it really clean. Um, so this is a good way to store it. And um, what we did before, I've never tried with a juicer. I used um, a blender and then strain out to extract the juice that way. There are some Chinese ointments that they use this as one of the main ingredients in for um, skin and bruises kind of um, issues. You can use that ointment to apply and massage into like bruised areas, stuff like that. Okay, so I'm going to get started processing this. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is just taking the leaves to process since the juicer is going to be a little too much for it to handle um, the stem, especially once it gets lower to the stem, it's going to be more wood-like. Plus the juice is mainly in the leaves anyway, so I'll process that and I'll show you guys what the juice looks like later. But I really love it, just refrigerating it, especially keep putting the, like a, a cotton pad or something in there and just you know, using it as a toner sometimes for my face. I really like that. Check out all the juice. And it's got only this little pulp. You can see how much juice these leaves actually contain. So I'm going to be transferring this into a glass jar, preferably a dark colored jar so it will last longer that way. And it sits in the fridge for, it lasts for like at least six months for us, even up till a year. I don't wanna like say it, last for like super long it all really depends on how um, clean you keep things don't contaminate and um, yeah for us it's like you know a year or so and uh, yeah I just love maybe even transferring it to like a dropper or something where I can put on a little uh, a cloth or something and wipe my face use it as a toner there's actually some like a nonprofit a Buddhist nonprofit around here that actually use this herb and somehow make like soap and things like that out of it so yeah I love how functional this is so that's it if you guys are interested in this uh, plant I will have these cuttings offered on my website and um, that would be a really good way for you to support me and um, if you want to support me and you know allow this channel to grow and that I can provide more content to you guys um, yeah, I'm just gonna send these as cuttings, cuttings, because this really is one of the easiest plants you can grow, so you can root them quite easily. And um, you can follow me on Facebook or Instagram for more, um, you know, just updates on my life and things growing in the garden. That's it, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and remember, there's always infinite growth wherever you go, wherever you are, so get started growing, and I'll see you soon in back here on this channel. Bye.